Thanks for joining me today. We'll be doing a very peaceful scene of a horse in a sunset, so stay tuned. We are starting out this peaceful painting by wetting the entire background, and I am using an ancient brush that I've had forever. It's my hockey brush, H-A-K-E. I will always just say hockey. And then I start out with the cadmium yellow primrose with my core watercolors and just lay down a whole coat of the yellow. And then I add the next color. This is the transparent pyro orange and kind of just pull it in around the edges, top and bottom. I literally had a minute and 16 seconds of footage of me debating what paper to use because this is Canson XL in 11 by 15 and I don't like Canson XL paper, but I didn't want to cut my 16 by 20 arches into an 11 by 15 because it's all on a block and I just wanted to keep it that way. So you may be asking, well, why didn't you just use the 16 by 20? Because I felt that was too big and wanted to make sure that this would be something that would be hung by my sister-in-law. So this is a gift for my sister-in-law. She owns slash manages a ranch in Snowmass Village, Colorado, and likes horses, and I thought this might be fun for her birthday. So, she hasn't received this yet. I don't think she watches my videos, and if she does, well, happy birthday, Patty. <laughs> there you go, here's your birthday present. Anyway, so I am pulling in ultramarine blue and a few other blues. I think I mixed some together, can't quite remember. And then a little bit of Payne's Gray in there, pulling the excess water out of the dips in the paper. This is 140 pound paper and even arches would would warp a little bit so it is what it is. Adding some more blue in the corners and a little bit of purple in the bottom and then some burnt umber, raw umber, van dyke brown kind of all mixed together in that bottom right corner. So I was about to put my ruler on my paper to make my horizon line and decided to check it to make sure it was clean and I cleaned this off of it, which is ink from using the ruler on other things. So before you use your ruler on your watercolor paper, any of your paintings or other drawings, etc., you might give it a good wipe down and make sure it's not going to leave black marks on your paper. I'm really glad I caught it before that because I like the way this has turned out so far. Yep, so I'm just taking my ruler and putting a line across there so that I have a guideline to follow and using a dark mixture. This is my burnt umber and Van Dyke Brown mixed in together with a little bit of the transparent pyrrole orange and really get this bright bushy line across there. It can be so pretty. And just trying to keep it dark and light enough at the same time was my biggest challenge there. But it was kind of fun to get those glowy effects like that. And then I pulled some extra water down into the bottom part of that for the reflection. And then just outlining the horse. That's the nice thing about images that are silhouetted like this is that there's not a lot of detail. It's not that complicated. And so anyone could do this painting. This was a reference picture, I think, off of Pixabay or somewhere like that. So, just making the bottom one a little bit fuzzier since it's in the water. And going through and just kind of doing some final details. And then I do grab the orange and make some extra glows around it. This is the fun part. When you get to pull the tape off, oh, see that nice white border? At least it's supposed to be nice and white. But you can see that my masking tape lets things come through the corners there. But, all right, there's a color corrected version, at least as close as I could come. And then I just gra grabbed a frame from Walmart, doing the important thing there, signing it, remember to do that. Grabbed a frame from Walmart and just gonna put it in the frame here. It's a front loading frame, so that was kind of weird, but sticking that in there and it's all framed. So there's the color corrected version of it in the frame, although there is a reflection on it and I wasn't able to get a better picture for you guys, but there is my horse on that Canson XL paper and yeah, I didn't 
like the way the paint worked on it that well, but it turned out fine and I'm happy with it. So thanks so much for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Like and subscribe really helps me out. I have a lot more videos coming. Today we have a fun little watercolor project with a horse and a sunset.